what's up you guys it's Sydney and welcome back to my channel I'm going to be showing you what is in my Disney suitcase or what I pack for Disneyland if you are interested in more Disney videos make sure to give this one a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I upload Disney videos three times a week so with that being said let's just get into what I pack the first thing that I always make sure that I have when I'm going to Disneyland is headphones because well, I am six hours away from Disneyland so on the ride there these saved my life. I have a what's in my Disney parks bag up on my channel and that is for a more chill day at the parks. I'm taking this smaller bag that is lighter and it's a crossbody so it's very easy and portable. You can buy these at the Disney parks for $25 and it is also a fanny pack which is pretty cool. So in the front pocket I keep this and I have my annual pass, my ID, my Sephora a gift card and an old room key which will be replaced with my new room key when we get to our hotel and then I would keep my phone in there as well that pocket then in the second pocket I always keep an extra battery for my camera and my camera which I'm filming on right now then in the third pocket I just keep cash and my favorite lip balm this is the Smith's Rosebud Salve lip balm at $6 at Sephora and I totally recommend it and then in the zipper pocket I just keep Trader Disney pins because I like to trade in the parks so I just keep those tucked away from everything else so you don't scratch anything these this is a portable charger I got this at Costco it was a two for like 13 deal if it's still at your Costco go get it because this charger is really good and really small I like to bring two pairs of shoes these ones, these are my Jesus sandals, these are my ride or die shoes. I also bring my Nikes. So since it's raining this trip, I'm bringing my Nikes to wear during the, like at the park. But if I come back to the room and my shoes are soaked, I want to make sure I have an extra pair of shoes. So that is why I'm bringing these and they're also more comfortable for the road trip. First, I have my Disney hats and I have a Disney hat obsession, you know. This trip in particular, I'm going to be taking my Zootopia Police Department hat. If you want to see an unboxing on this lovely hat from Who's It's and What's It's, go check out one of my recent videos. I am packing this hat that I was going to be wearing all day Saturday. And then I'm packing this hat for Sunday. It's got the blue caterpillar and the white rabbit on it. And the Mad Hatter. Okay, now on to clothes. I am only going for two days, so I'm not bringing that much clothes. But for the first thing, since it's actually going to be raining, I'm going to be bringing this massive red long cardigan from Wet Seal. Another one of my many obsessions is striped shirts. For the rest of my clothes, I am bringing this extra large Texas t-shirt because I just like to sleep in a t-shirt. Then I am bringing my favorite pair of jeans. I don't know what jeans these are. These are celebrity pink jeans. I don't know. I really like these jeans and they're super comfortable and soft. They feel like leggings. For the second day, I'm going to keep it way more casual because we're road tripping home. I'm just going to wear my favorite UC Irvine anteater shirt hopefully my future school and my favorite pair of yoga pants from target these are amazing i love them they have so many different styles and these are just so good and they're only like 15 bucks a pair i just love them okay and last but not least for clothes i'm going to be bringing a handy dandy rain jacket because again it's going to rain at some point so i need to make sure i have this this is just like random extra things that I bring. So I always, I always bring my wallet. This is from Charming Charlie. And this just has any extra cards and um, just other things. If I decide I'm going to be carrying my big purse at any point, if we're going somewhere super quick or we're going to downtown Disney or I don't know, I just bring this just in case and it's super small. Of course, I have to have my paint the night brush. I usually just put this in my mom's purse if I'm going to be bringing my tiny bag but I just this is amazing it interacts with the paint the night parade work <laughs> because I'm crazy I bring two different hand sanitizers this one is much smaller and more practical it is the winter candy apple scent which I literally wear all year round it is my favorite scent it is my scent it's my go-to scent I love winter candy apple from Bath and Body Works. Bell hand sanitizer, which I got at the Disney parks. 
This was $10, which is freaking ridiculous because it's hand sanitizer, but the case is freaking cool, okay? And you can refill the hand sanitizer bottle with whatever the heck you want to, like Bath and Body Works or anything else. So I justified it that way, and they both just clip onto your bag. Then I have my sunglasses. I have my sugar-free icebreaker sours. I love these. I'm going to eat one right now. Then I have my High Gorgeous Victoria's Secret Mirror. I take this if I feel like it. Last but not least, I have a few different miscellaneous toiletry things. Then I have my absolute favorite deodorant, which is weird to talk about on here, but it is the Degree Motion Sense Dry Spray Active Shield Antibacterial Odor Protection 48 Hour Antiperspirant. Then I have, again, Signature Scent Winter Candy Apple. I love this stuff. Like, just... I have my Mario Badescu Skincare Glycolic Foaming Cleanser. My really ratchet, um, huge toothbrush and a travel toothbrush case and Colgate toothpaste. Yeah. And I forgot to mention, I always throw in this purse. It is my brown Charming Charlie bag, crossbody. If I'm in the mood to carry a bigger purse, I will take this. I just throw it on top of my suitcase and don't worry about it. And then... Actually, last but not least for this video are my absolute favorite makeup wipes. These are the Pure and Gentle Makeup Remover Wipes. You can get these at Walmart for 97 cents. And it is 30 wipes for a dollar. And you're like, Sydney, there are there is no way that those work. They do. I swear by these, I love these, and you don't feel guilty about using one makeup wipe for like your face and then one for your eyes, and then if you mess up, you can use one more to clean up your makeup because they're so cheap. That is it for what is in my Disney suitcase. If you're wondering, Sydney, where you obviously wear makeup, where is all the makeup? It is going to be on my second channel, Sydney Lynn, so if you want to see what I bring in my makeup bag to Disney, check that out on my second channel and it'll be the first link in the description box i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below with any essentials that i missed that you have to bring when you go to a disney park or just when you travel in general don't forget to subscribe because i post disney videos three times a week and with that being said i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope that i see you in the next one 